Friends, I think as we're seated for lunch, we'll remain seated to sing our opening hymn. If you find the hymn sheet, uh, Maestro will accompany us. God is The one is Say, direct us, O Lord, in all our doings with thy continual favor, and continue us with thy continual help, that all our works begun, continued, and ended in thee, we may glorify thy name, and finally by thy mercy attain everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. I call this annual meeting of 
the parish of St. Michael Litchfield to order at 12.38 p.m. and ask the clerk if there is a presence of a quorum being 35 members or more. 12.38, yeah. well, then thank you. <laughs> uh, the clerk affirms that there is the presence of a quorum. I would entertain a motion to adopt the agenda as distributed. So moved. The, who, uh, moved by Curry Walker. Do I hear a second? Aye. Second, John Cox. Those in favor? Opposed? The motion carries. The agenda is adopted. You have received in your annual report the minutes of last year's meeting. It having been distributed, uh, are there any uh, I, I would entertain a motion to accept it as presented. So moved. So moved. Second. Melissa Neuer seconded Martha Babbitt. Is there any discussion or edits to make at this time? Hearing none, those in favor of accepting the minutes of last year's meeting as presented. Those in favor? Aye. Opposed? The minutes of last year's meeting are accepted. Before we move on to the main business of the day, which is the report of the nominating committee and election of officers, vestry members, and delegates to diocesan convention, our current, at least for the next few moments, junior warden, Michael Lahart, um, has a presentation to give. And we send apologies for, this isn't a table chair set for Elijah, those of you familiar with Seder rituals. Uh, this is Denise uh, Buckwell. Uh, I don't know if Denise is joining us by some other means, um, but she spent time with her family last week and, and got the plague uh, and is saving us from it by not being here today. And so she's really sad she couldn't be here. Uh, and so, Michael. Yeah. Uh, hi, good morning. Uh, just a word uh, before going on to nominations for uh, new vestry positions. Uh, I want to take a moment and to thank and recognize the people who have been serving on the vestry this past year. Uh, with Devin's departure, uh, it's been a very busy time. Uh, Denise, in particular, has really stepped forward, and it was, you know, effectively a full-time job for her. And uh, I'm very grateful to her for that. Um, so she's left very large shoes to fill. Um, but so want to say thank you to the, the members who are going to be leaving the vestry this uh, this year. That would be Ann McKinney and Roseman and Megan, who's worked as our secretary for many years now. Um, I do have just a small gift of appreciation for each one of them. Okay, so you could just uh, acknowledge them. Right. <laughs> Don't stop it. There's also a gift for Denise, which I'll need to leave her for a The very own baby dragon, right? right. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. And uh, as we'll send her the tape of this, uh, on behalf of everybody, Denise, thank you. The report of the nominating committee, I chair calls on Ann Bowen. And the nominations for next year are for Senior Warden Michael Lahart, Junior Warden Ted Sullivan, Clerk Michelle Bethesda, 
and the vestry class of 2026, Stuart Anderson and Bob Rumsey. Vestry class of 25, to replace Peg Sullivan, me. <laughs> <laughs> Delegates to the Diocesan Convention, Denise Butwell and Sarah Godofsky, and the author is Paul Murr. I respectfully submit that. Thank you very much. It being the nominating committee's nomination, it needs no second. We will then move to election. Those, we will do this by voice vote. Those in favor of the slate as presented, please indicate by uh, saying aye. 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 Those opposed. <laughs> Mary Ellen, watch it. <laughs> uh, would the clerk please enter one vote for the slate on behalf of the assembly, as is the parliamentary custom. Uh, I declare, therefore, the slate elected as presented. <laughs> Thank you, those who are uh, newly nominated and newly elected. Uh, thank you so much. We will we, we will talk about your uh, uh, the, the uniform that you'll be expected to wear and the induction ceremony and the secret handshake. These will all be delivered later. Well, yeah, yeah, thank you. Mary Ellen's keen to see it. We'll move now to a uh, just general uh, for a period of time. Uh, not to exceed four hours. A response to the reports that you have, you have the chance, I hope, to look it over. Um, maybe we'll save finance for, well, maybe we'll start with financial questions. Therefore, get those out of the way uh, as our treasurer is here and has her mouth full. <laughs> so if we move to the uh, okay. treasurer's report, which is the last page, page 21. Does anyone have any questions or thoughts about the treasurer's report? Very clearly presented. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, th this is just the response of a newcomer. Um, we're in generally good shape. Um, one of the things which my predecessor, Devin Stanley, said to me was, Prudence was the watchword when he arrived, and prudence was the watchword during his time with you, and you exercised it. And so we're in solid shape, I'm moving cautiously, but um, solidly into the future. I'm really pleased to be with you, and thank you for the good work you've done before I arrive. We'll try not to goof it up from here on in, Michael. <laughs> well, and I would just like to say thank you to Sky Post for all the time you put in the treasurer and also on the investment committee and uh, really getting that in good faith. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. The one thing I would note on stewardship, which is the previous page 20, wow, are we close to our high goal? We have exceeded the goal which enables us to maintain the level of ministry and uh, funded mission of the previous year, 2022. And we are moving into new territory. If you've not yet made a pledge for 2023, or you know someone who hasn't, if your circumstances have changed or your uh, enthusiasm level that you'd like to support more uh, has changed and your ability uh, are commensurate and would like to increase your pledge, if we had 16,000 more dollars, we would be able uh, to begin canvassing and finding a uh, children's and youth minister. That's what we're hoping to do. And we're hoping to get to that point by uh, the end of the first quarter. And so tell your friends and relations, those who haven't yet, especially those with children, because if, if they're able to give, we will be able to really build children's and youth ministry again here in this place. And I just like to make a special call out to well, everyone for their generosity yes. this year. Um, we do have fewer pledges at this point. We have started the process a little later than the prior year just because there was a lot going on. <laughs> and um, so we're hopeful that we will get some more of those pledges. Uh, but as, as Ian remarked, 
the we, we've hit our initial target. We have an aspirational target that's a little further. Um, so the, the average pledge has gone up quite a bit. And for that, I'd like to thank particularly the uh, several uh, benefactors who put forward the fund to help match new pledges and increases of pledges. That was, I think, hugely important yeah. in getting us to this point. It certainly was. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> Just open up the other non-financial things. Anyone have any comments, questions? Food for thought. Uh, comment would be the, the property committee has been very busy this past year. <clears throat> and for that too, we're very thankful, Richard. I mean, there was a long list of uh, accomplishments and things you all had done. Uh, and to that, I would add uh, the refinishing of the floors in the church, which that was a huge team effort. Uh, and Don and Nancy Moore in particular, who I think, if I remember correctly, dusted off every one of those mealers that we all use. So thank you to everyone for their help with that. And um, thank you to the property committee for all that they've been doing. Sure, sure. Are there any other questions or comments? Do I hear a motion to adjourn? So move. Uh, John Cox, do I hear a second? Second. Second. Ed Napier. Ed Napier. Those in favor of adjournment, signify by saying aye. Aye. Don't you dare. <laughs> Gary, we are adjourning at the 11. Siri, don't talk back to me. 11.51. Uh, there are a lot of cookies and sweets back there too, so please don't mess with us. Let us stand for our closing prayer. Close with a prayer which I remember from seminary after every mass every day would be said in the tower room as we left the chapel. It's by Saint Irenaeus of Lyon. Accomplished and completed so far as in us lies, O Christ our God, is the mystery of thy dispensation. We have made a memorial of thy death. We have seen a type of thy resurrection. We have tasted of thy heavenly banquet, whereof we vouchsafe and pray that thou wouldst give us a taste now and forever in the life to come. Amen. 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 The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Oh, man. And since we don't have words for a final hymn, may we all simply Acapulco style, uh, don't be carried away, David, you're dressed for it, Acapulco style, sing uh, the last verse of, 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 of uh, Old Country. Praise God from all men. Thank you all, quite efficiently dispatched and well settled. And to folks on Zoom, have a pleasant day. Well, that, uh, well you know. Yeah. <laughs>